I'm Martin Blunden, Chief Officer of the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service, and today we're launching our consultation on our long-term strategic vision. We've set out our proposed vision in a document, SFRS Long-Term Vision, and over the next six weeks I'd like your views on our plans for how the service should evolve over the next decade and beyond. So why do we need to evolve? Well, the Fire and Rescue Service has been evolving in Scotland since the formation of the first Municipal Fire Brigade in Edinburgh in 1824. And so we continue to respond effectively to the changing needs of Scotland's communities and to the dynamic environment we work in. This evolution needs to continue. What the people of Scotland require from its Fire and Rescue Service now and in the future is different from 200 years ago 100 years ago, or even 10 years ago. The number of household fires in Scotland has continued to reduce year on year. Change in our weather patterns, largely driven by climate change, has resulted in more wildfires and increased flooding in many communities. This endangers both lives and livelihoods. Scotland's ageing population has increased significantly. We're living longer into retirement and the demand is on all of us to support the needs of our older adults so that they can enjoy full and positive lives, happy and healthy at home or in a homely setting. The threat from terrorism remains substantial and unlikely to reduce in the foreseeable future and we must be prepared to respond to that. We also need to do more work to prevent the circumstances that give rise to many of the incidents that we respond to. I'm firmly of the belief that prevention of harm in its many forms is a key to our ongoing success as a service and the ongoing safety of our society. But it's not all about responding to changing pressures. We're evolving because we want to continually improve what we do to deliver the best possible fire and rescue service for the people of Scotland and to be a world leading fire and rescue service. That's why we're creating a new vision for the service that will be our route map to the future. Our vision represents the beginning of a new journey for the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service. But our mission remains the same, working together for a safer Scotland. To me that means being dedicated to improving the quality of our service, to keep improving people's lives, improving the safety and well-being of the communities we serve, to continue our shift towards the prevention of risk of harm for households and communities and to work collaboratively with our communities and our partners. We also see opportunities to improve the service through advanced technology, enabling us to work smarter, increase our innovation and improve how we work. As an employer, the well-being of our staff is a key priority 
and it always will be. And we want to do more to promote equality, diversity and inclusion, not just in our workforce, but across the communities that we serve. We can also play an active role in the Scottish public sector's response to climate change. We want to push the boundaries on where we can take that, not just in terms of how we respond to the impact of climate on communities, but how we as an organisation can become more environmentally sustainable and achieve carbon zero status. I'd like to encourage you to read our vision document. I would like to hear from you what do you think, positive or negative, as well as understanding what's important to you so that you, your family and your community feel safe and protected. The document, together with details on how to provide feedback, is available on our website at firescotland.gov.uk. Our world is constantly and profoundly changing and evolving. The experience of the last 15 months has brought that into sharp focus. And the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service plays an essential role in keeping Scotland's communities, businesses and visitors safe. This vision represents our future, but we remain, remain as always, your service. So please make your voice heard, take part in our consultation, and help us create a safer Scotland for all. Thank you.